Well, at least you didn't go to the Seahawks. Crossy Posse Packer Nation, welcome to another episode of Packcast, the podcast where you don't have to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help. I am your host, Tom Nathaniel Grassi. That's not my middle name, but a little bit of an extra video today because we are sad to say that Jordy Nelson has officially retired. Now, it's a little bittersweet for me. It's bittersweet in that obviously you're sad to see him go. I'm even more sad to see him not spend his entire career with the Green Bay Packers, but let's just pretend that he didn't ever go to the Raiders. Remember when Jordy Nelson retired last year? Now, in all honesty, the other reason why it's I'm okay with it is because, again, I didn't want to see him in a Seahawks uniform or any other uniform besides the Green Bay Packers, to be completely honest with you. But Jordy Nelson has, has hung it up, and the first thing I have to say is this man better get a one-day contract and officially retire as a Green Bay Packer. And if he doesn't, Brian Gutenkunz, it doesn't matter who you pick in the draft. It doesn't matter how many Super Bowls we win. I will find you. And you know what I'm going to do? I will write you a very strongly worded letter, and I will hand it to you expressing my disappointment, and then I will just continue on being a fan. So watch out. So just to take a quick gander at Jordy Nelson's illustrious career, as a wee lad, he was a second-round pick. I remember it like it was yesterday. He had four 1,000-yard seasons with the Green Bay Packers, a Super Bowl championship, and, of course, comeback player of the year in 2016 when he came back from a devastating season-ending injury uh, in the preseason of 2015. Uh, He played 151 games in his career, 613 catches, 8,587 yards, and 72 touchdowns. But with the Packers, he had 69. Mm -hmm. He's number five all-time in Packers history in receiving yards and number nine in scoring. However, he is the highest-scoring wide receiver in Packers history. So all in all, not bad, Mr. Nelson. Not bad. The things that are going to stick out to me, are uh, not even just the the plays from like you know the Super Bowl or tearing apart the Giants or <laughs> all the times that he just did incredible things the sideline grabs or just the the slants that turned into touchdowns. What really is going to stand out to me is the relationship that he had with Aaron, the tradition of spinning the football in the end zone, seeing whose would fall over first. That that's what's going to stick out to me how he interacted with the team, how he was with the community, the bike rides. that That's what Jordy Nelson is for me. And just to watch him play every single week as a Packer and know that something good was going to happen, right? Whether it was going to be a score or whether it was going to be a phenomenal catch, it was something special. And so now, you know, the, the hopes of re-signing him, even though I wasn't really for that, the hopes of re-signing him are, are over. That, that's, that's gone. And like I said, we're in the dawning of a new era for the Green Bay Packers. It's going to be different now. But for guys in these pictures, there's only one left, and it's Aaron frickin' Rodgers. So hopefully we find the next Jordy Nelson, whether that's in this draft or – Hell, Devontae's pretty damn good, but Devontae's Devontae, not Jordy. I don't know if we're ever going to find another Jordy, because there might just be one. But let me know what you you think down below. What was your favorite play? What was your favorite memory of Jordy Nelson? I mean, the Super Bowl is pretty high up there for me. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. You can always find me at Tom Grassy Comedy, T-O-M-G-R-O-S-S-I Comedy, or at Tom Grassy Comedy on all the social medias that you see down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, and of course here on YouTube. And you could also check out bonfire.com slash podcast to pick up some podcast merch for the next few days. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Jordy. And as always, go pack go. Mm-hmm.